What's up guys, this is Quante, and welcome back to more Let's Play New Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. In the last episode, we did the very hard levels of 5-3 and 5-4, and in this episode, we're probably going to be doing some more hard levels. Or well, I'm just going to spoil it now and say, yes, we are going to be doing more hard levels. How do I know this? Well, before actually recording this, I actually just took the liberty of watching one of Raukau's videos. Because I know I've been mentioning Raukau a lot, and how he's doing an LP of this game. And, well, I just watched his videos ahead of time, and it turns out that these two levels actually ended up being very difficult. Well, not this one, per se. This one isn't actually that bad. But the next level actually has a really complex puzzle in it. And I'm glad I actually watched his video before recording this video. That sounded really weird. But <laughs> I'm glad I watched it because it has a really complex puzzle that probably would have tripped me up if I didn't watch it. And I probably would have been recording for like 20 minutes. Because basically when he said he was recording that level, he actually ended up recording for about 50 minutes. And chances are, with this level and that level all in one episode, I probably would have been recording for over an hour if that was the case, and if I didn't figure out the puzzle fast enough, so just be glad that this one isn't blind. But even, like, when watching his videos, like, he distinctly said some levels are better to play blind and some aren't, and these two levels aren't just the ones that you'd probably want to play blind, because you'd probably just get angry and frustrated and all the above like I did in the last episode. <laughs> I swear, that was absolutely terrible, like, everything that happened in the last episode. I don't know, I just got really, really mad, and my commentary seemed more like I was ranting than anything, so... All I can really do is apologize for the way that turned out. And I know I could have re-recorded, but yet, what good would that have done if I ended up failing again, so... And I didn't really want to play those levels over again either, so... You know, you just gotta do what's best, I guess. But enough about that, really, because, you know, we're in an all new episode, and hopefully I can end up playing a lot better. Wait, can, it, can I actually make this? Oh, yes! I did it! And now we get some sweet red coins. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. No, baby, get back here. You don't come off this back at all. And I wonder if I can actually get that flower up there. Wait, get away from me, piranha plant. Oh, I gotta use these goonies to get up here. Some way. I'll use it this way. I'll just jump on him. Or not. I wish I could get some to fly in the other direction. Or, oh, I could use this fat guy. Come down here, fatty. <laughs> fat Goonie! Ah! How come every time he flaps his wings, it's like it has the water sound, like when you're swimming? And no, Fat Goonie, don't betray me! Okay, we did it! I actually got a flower. Well, that's good. Well, but hopefully we'll actually do good on this level, because I was expecting to do terribly. But, wow, I'm actually satisfied with the gameplay for once. Oh, come here, Goonie. Ah! Yes! So I'm actually getting a good amount of red coins, too. That's cool. Whoa, Goonie. I mean, Tap Tap. How did I get those two mixed up? They don't look alike at all. How'd I get them mixed up? I don't know. I guess because I've seen so many, like... I don't know. Like, these two have been the most reoccurring enemies in this world so far. Goonies and Tap Taps. So that's probably why. Like, they're like, oh no! Go, go back! Oh no. I failed. Well, that's nothing but a life anyway, so I guess I can skip out on that. Like, you're supposed to roll the chomp rock into that little alcove and then get a life, but I guess I can skip out on it. Whoa there, sir! 
You're not being the sir, so I don't know why I called you sir. But, like a sir. Okay, let's... Can I get up here? Yes. Okay. No. Stop it. Stop it. That was mean. Is there anything down there? I don't really want to chance that. I don't think there's anything down there anyway. It's probably just to trick you and then end up killing you later on so you have to start the level over. Because this is the first middle ring, so that's probably what it was. Considering how jerkish this game can be. And what's this say? You can climb a wall with a car by pressing B fast in the row. Try it out. Yeah, I think we figured that out in episode 3. When I was in the chocolate garden. Yeah, I remember that. And then I had to learn how to do it to actually get on that platform. I remember now. So yeah, I'm prepared for the game. I came prepared. I'm gonna hone my skills that I used from the previous episodes in this level. No, get up! No, I missed that. There's so many things hitting me that I couldn't even get up that wall. Well, let's try it again. Without dying, too, please. That'd be wonderful. Well, I made it a really good time. I'm not gonna try to go down there and get that life either, because that just seems more like a hassle. And, oh gosh, and there's a flower up here. Can I get it? No, no! Well, I guess I'm doing this again. Oh gosh, no! I missed the flower! I didn't even know that was there, <laughs> or like, you're supposed to rotate that platform around. That was kind of cheap. I wonder where that would have been, like, the switch to actually hit that, to get that flower. Because so far, I've only gotten one, but one is better than nothing, and there's a pipe up there. Hmm. Wait, what's down here before I actually go inside that pipe? Yeah, I was actually supposed to flip something, but I missed it somehow. I don't know what I was supposed to do, though. I didn't see anything I was supposed to flip with Yoshi, because I don't think you could even hit that switch if you had the car. Pretty weird. Hmm. I'm gonna be wondering about that for a while, but I'm guessing this pipe is the right way to go since, you know... I can't flip those switches over. And another midway point. So the game is actually being kind of nice. I will admit that this level isn't that bad. It was just the next one that I was worried about that I just went ahead and kind of recorded this not blind. And oh, I have to use the freaking puffins. But I don't know how to use the puffins to my advantage to get them to like... Curve. Oh, well that's how you do it. Okay, so let's see if I can do that with the other one. Oh, that was actually pretty cool. So, oh, I don't know how to get that. I probably have to jump off the paratrooper or something, or... I don't see a way to get... Oh, the puffins, maybe. Wait a minute. I'll try a puffin. Oh my gosh, I am the smartest thing alive. <laughs> I'm glad I thought of that, and instead of just being like, Oh, I don't know how to do it, because I'm stupid. I'm actually getting quite a bit of satisfaction while I'm actually playing this. No, Puffin, come back. I need you. I need you, Puffin. And you die. No, Puffin, come back. Oh, wait, there's more. And how am I supposed to use the puffin to my advantage there? Doesn't seem like he'd be able to fit through. Oh, he almost made it. He almost made it. I don't think what's in there would be important anyway. Wait, was that a flower? Or was it something else? What was there? There's probably a flower in that. But oh well. What? That pu the Puffins just committed suicide. What? Suicide is not a good thing, kids. 
Don't be like the puffins, where they get so scared that they commit suicide. But yet, that was how Yoshi was in Super Mario World all the time. If you didn't catch him, he'd probably run off a cliff. Just from being so scared. But now Yoshi is brave enough to... Take a baby he doesn't even know on a gigantic adventure. Go back with his parents. Because that's just how nice of a dinosaur Yoshi is. Dinosaur or dragon or whatever Yoshi is. What is Yoshi? I mean, that's kind of been a big controversy, actually. Some people actually think he's a turtle, which is one of the stupidest things. Wait, have I talked about that in the episode? Not, not in this LP, but I think I talked about that in my Super Mario World LP. But that is something that has actually kind of annoyed me. When people say that Yoshi is like a Koopa, or just a turtle, because they think his saddle is a shell. The only thing I think he could be is maybe a dragon or a dinosaur, but not a Koopa. Because some people actually think if a Yoshi melts, he'll be a Dry Bones, and that makes no sense. Because why would Mario kill Dry Bones if they're Yoshis? Because Yoshis are like friendly to Mario, so that makes no sense. Hmm. And why would they work for Bowser upon death? I know, so many unanswered questions. <laughs> but let's do this bonus game. Please get something. No, I failed. I think that's like the second time I failed that. I think I failed it in the last episode too. Why do I keep talking about previous episodes? I sound like NCS. Hmm. The Rat's Tunnel. Yeah, this is the level I was worried about in particular. I mean, the level starts off just like the last one did. It's all happy-go-lucky. There's just rats everywhere. But all in all, it's a pretty good level at first. That's the thing. Because before you actually get into the main gist of the level, you just have this, which is mainly just like an okay part of the level where you're just simply doing basic platforming and it's just like yeah <laughs> but then there is a part of the level in this segment because we're going to be going into the sewers later where you have to do this weird puzzle that's really weird and i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to pull it off but there's some flowers flower power flower power <laughs> Okay, and down here to get another flower, I think. Sonic, I don't think we need your patronage here. And that tap tap had to land right on the pipe, didn't he? And wait, no, I think we get some red coins in here. Yes, we do. Alright. And back up. And so now it can actually progress in the level without having to worry about anything else. So just move this guy out of the way. And I will admit that this level, despite it being hard and taking Raukau 50 minutes to record, actually has some pretty unique level design. It's just really challenging. Like, that's sort of the thing with this hack. Like, the level design itself is the strong point and the weak point at the same time. Because the level design is so, like, good that it's bad. <laughs> and I don't even know if that makes sense. But the level design is so good and challenging that it almost makes it bad because it just seems almost unfair, if you get what I mean. Or unfair even at times. Or, like, I don't really know if I could say everything is unfair. Maybe that's just me playing terribly. But, all in all, I guess that kind of makes sense that it's the strong and the weak point of the hack itself. And, let's go up here. See what's up here. Come on, Yoshi. A pipe. And red coins are here. Oh, this is an auto-scrolling segment? That sucks. And there doesn't seem to be anything going on besides hedgehogs and mice. 
all these rodents coming around here. I don't like any of you. Yoshi is the pest control around these parts. And I don't think there's anything up there, so I'm just gonna keep going. Because nothing falls or happens or anything. And... I think I'm gonna try out that puzzle that I said was interesting. Wait, I wanna kill you, Tap Tap. But you have to use, like, the mouse in some sort of way. Because if the mouse is bored, or, like, if he isn't preoccupied with trying to steal your eggs, this is why I'm gonna get rid of them all, he will actually go back into his hole. And then you have to jump on him, like, when he just tried to go into his hole to get up there, which is really weird. So go back into your hole, guy. Hedgehog, get out of here. I don't know. I wish the hedgehog would actually go away so the mice can go back into his hole. Okay, now go back. No, he, he hurt me instead of me jumping on him. I hope this doesn't take a while. And... Come on! Yes, we did it! And yeah, there was a flower up there. Oh well, that's better than nothing. Yeah, we've got two flowers, so I'm actually already happy. So this is the actual way you're supposed to go. And it's a very weird puzzle through that door. I actually don't want to do it, and excuse me if I use rewinds, because I might end up doing that. Because I've seen Raokal get it on his first try. But you actually have to do something with this door. Oh, sleep mode, go away. <laughs> like, the door is like, you have to somehow control the door off screen. Like, you have to bounce the door to where it will hit the ground, see it despawn. Like, you have to time everything just right. So the door hits a certain platform while the platform is off screen without making the door despawn like I just did. And it's just really awkward. And I might actually just stop the video just to see how Raokal did it. Because it was just like, he did it perfectly. I don't know if he had a lot of practice or what, but you have to do a bunch of stuff while the door is off screen without it despawning, which sounds virtually impossible. Because when you fail at it like me, you just have to go through here and go through the door. And then it'll basically just kind of start you over. Which sucks. So I'm probably going to be here for a while, and I might as well just cut the video, because I know I'm probably going to take a really long time to actually figure it out and make everything work in my favor. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'll see you guys when I finally get it right. Okay, I think I actually did it. That wasn't actually that bad. <laughs> okay. So now here's the main part of the level. And I think you actually want to go to the right first if you're concerned on getting, like, flowers and different things like that. So, as soon as this shy guy comes over here, we're going to be going to the right. And I think I said left the last time. I cannot tell left from right, of course. <laughs> Right, yeah. So if you didn't go to the right, it would be twice as hard to actually get up here because you'd start at the bottom. And I wish this cactus would get out of the way. So yeah, this is the bad part of this level, I guess I should say. Where you have to know a lot of stuff, and if you're doing it blind, it's just gonna be absolutely terrible. But yeah, we get a flower and some red coins, so I'm actually probably going to do good on percentage in this level. I just need one of these guys so I can actually get up here. No! And wait for the baby to fly up there. No, he stole my eggs! That's all I came here for. I thought he was actually trying to help. Well, I'll get rid of my eggs so he'll come here. No, no! Oh god, this is so terrible. I think there's only a flower or something up there anyway. 
But I, th I do think you're supposed to get up there, though. That's what I'm trying. Because I can't really remember the video and what part I can... Am I gonna have to end up cutting again? Wait, maybe I should just attract him with the egg. And make sure he doesn't get it. Come on, man. Come on. And then... Thief! Just come here so I can steal your soul. Or not. Well, I think that was all for a flower or something anyway, but... You see this pattern right here? You're actually supposed to memorize this. And this is mainly sort of the whole puzzle-like aspect of the level. And so you'll see what I'm talking about in a few seconds, but... Yeah, so you're like in these little segments and you have to go in a certain order so I have to go right twice it's like right right left right so I'm gonna go right twice and back to the left and there's actually some new stuff here actually because I have to go right again, but I'm actually going to get, I think, some red coins or whatever that might be here. Wait, no, there's nothing. So I go back to the right. Then go back left. And yeah, see, there's some new stuff here. That baseball guy is in here this time. And then go to the left again. Back to the right, <laughs> then back left, and then this is actually the way you're supposed to be, like, in everything, and if you actually go through here, I guess this is meant to trip you up too, there's a midway point, so if you didn't bother going through the door, cause you were just fed up with the whole level itself, and didn't want to partake in any other secrets, well, that's actually something you might want to check out. So you don't have to do that puzzle all over again if you end up dying. But the level is actually, I would say, pretty much over. I mean, that's just about the worst of it. And I know I did miss a few secrets, but, I mean, I'm happy with what I got. So, yeah. Oh, I need some eggs. Wait, I have two. Three now. Wait, no, because I killed the mice. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Wait, maybe I can get this guy to come out. Wait, please respond. No, I, I gotta get you, man. Dude! I think I might have to do this all over. Wait, I'll just see you guys back up there with eggs. Okay, guys, so we made it back up here. And it was actually more trouble getting back up here than it ever was. Okay. And get some more seconds. So how many flowers do I actually have? I think I have three. Yeah, I have three. And we're doing pretty good on seconds. And holy jeez, no. Don't do that, Mr. Baseball Guy. And red coins for me, yay. And a rave party shy guy. I could actually use some lives. I don't think I have all six e Yeah, I don't have all six eggs, so screw him. And more seconds, please? No! You just hit me. Alright, well, whatever. And that's the end of the level, so that wasn't actually that bad. And I did fairly well on it. Yep, <laughs> I'm actually really satisfied with the way that turned out. I got 69. I would get that number. <laughs> Alright. So we have a castle in the next episode. Yay. And there's the moon, so I think we might be fighting Raphael the Raven next episode. I don't know. But I'll see you guys in the next episode of Let's Play New Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. I've been Quante95.